Hi guys, today I'm going to be putting together a new garden toy, which is a gorilla cart, and I'm really excited. So I'll show you a picture of my rusty old wheelbarrow. It is, I bought it at the Goodwill. I, it was pretty used then, and it's definitely used a lot now. It's pretty rusty, um, the axle falls out, and I'm hoping that a cart with four wheels, it's actually a dump cart, which I'll show you how that works later, but I'm hoping this will be better for me than a wheelbarrow, because sometimes a wheelbarrow can be kind of hard to navigate. Um, so I'm gonna put this together. This model number is GCG-7, which seven means I think it holds seven cubic feet worth of material. Um, and I bought this at Lowe's, and it's also, I know it's also available at Home Depot as well, and some different places online. So here's my old wheelbarrow. It's looking pretty rested. The axle fall, has fallen out quite a bit. So here's all the different parts all scattered out. It came in a big box, and everything you see over here was packed into this plastic bin. So you have three metal brackets that go on somehow. You have the handle. This is like the latch where you can lift the dump cart. We got four pneumatic tires, which means they have air in them. And then we have the hardware. And the only tool I needed was a 13 millimeter wrench or socket wrench. And then it also said this uh, type of adjustable wrench. So here we go. Okay, so the first step was to attach this bracket and these four bolts with washers and the nut. And it's really easy because it just comes out of hardware packet one. I just use the socket wrench, it makes it super easy. Uh, the nuts have a plastic thread in them, so that really made it easy um, to get them on there and they're gonna stay there. They're not gonna come undone. One thing you do wanna watch for when you're doing this, you wanna make sure the bolts are in this little groove. Um, so you want to make sure these are flush. You wanna make sure these are flush with the plastic. So I just attached the second piece and that is this larger frame right here. And so all I did, there's only two bolts to put on this one and they're atta they attach onto this first piece. So just this one and this one. And actually what you need to do first, there's a black plastic ring that goes into the hole on this one, on this first bracket. You first have to put that plastic piece on there. I think that's just to offer some type of buffer be between these two pieces, like a cushion. So I put that plastic piece on first. I put in the bolt, put on the washer, and then the nut. And this is where I had to use my adjustable wrench to hold on to the bolt while I use this to put the nut on. So I got the fourth piece on. So this is um, the another set for the wheels and there are four bolts on this one. There's two on these arms and then two that go into the bigger, thicker frame. And these two are shorter bolts, while these two are longer bolts, so they can go through the thickness of this frame. Now you also just want to make sure you get the head of the bolt that's inside of the, the tub there. You want to make sure those are flush with the plastic resin. Well, the tires couldn't have been easier to put on this cart. So, uh, the... And the little axle came with this rubber cap on the end just for packaging. So take that off. Just put the tire on. And you want to make sure the air valve is on the outside. You don't want to get it done, have it done all backwards. And then just slide the tire on. 
put this metal washer on and then this ring pin. So this has like a spring in it so it stays closed while you're using it and so these are going to be really easy just to take off and fill up with air if I need to. So the next step was to put on, this is the latch for the dumping mechanism. Um, that was really easy, just four bolts, two at the top and two down here at the bottom. And the last step was just to put on the handle, which is just one bolt down here. So I'm pretty excited about this. I'm going to show you how much, how many bags of mulch I can get in here. So you can see here, I have loaded this thing up with three bags of mulch. And I don't know if I tried, tried it harder, I might be able to even get four in here. Cause I got a little bit of space there. So I might even be able to move them around and get four bags in there. So this is a pretty, pretty big cart. Um, there is a smaller uh, version. I think it might be three cubic feet. Well, this one is seven. Uh, one advantage this one also has is that this handle can be removed and you can attach that to your lawnmower tractor, uh, which I used to have a tractor, but now I just have a fish mower, so I won't be using that. Um, but that's an advantage of this bigger cart. So there you go. It's very easy to put together. Didn't take very long. Okay, to test whether this trough is leak proof or not I just put some water in here and it looks like it's retaining the water so I was just kind of curious if water would seep down in the gaps between the, the plastic and the bolt and it doesn't look like it is so I guess if you store it outside just put something over it or you could also store it with the dump cart push back I'm going to show you how that works. So all you do, just lift this, comes unlatched, and there you go. Now a feature with this new one, as far as I know, is that when you do use the dump cart like that, that this back here actually kind of folds under, and so it stabilizes it better. I guess before maybe people were putting the dump cart back, and maybe the whole thing would flip over. So that's probably a good safety feature. So as easy as that, just lift it back up. And it just latches back in place. Now I just want to mention that I just purchased this card of my own. Um, I'm not affiliated with any with Gorilla Cards or anybody else. So these are all my own opinions and I just wanted to put together a little tutorial for you on how to put together the cart and what it looks like with maybe some bags of mulch in there. Because as I was researching this, I couldn't find any other video that showed actually how much this thing would hold and actually to get a good scale of how big it is. So this is a good sized cart. And as I'm pulling it around, you know, it is very, it's sturdy. It's very sturdy and solid. Um, you know, it's not, it's not super heavy, you know, it has a good weight to it. Um, I don't know how much weight I can get in here uh, before I couldn't pull it anymore, but I'm sure I'll test that out. So even with three bags of mulch in here, you know, it was, it was still all right to pull around. Now if you're pulling it up a hill or maybe on some really uneven ground or something, it might get difficult, but just pulling it around in the yard doesn't seem too bad. If I had to do a lot of loads of something, it'd probably get, you know, pretty tiresome, but I just have to learn to pace myself.